yeah, I can see why the bandit. Anization, yet again, uh, again, I can see why. Unless Satsi's on about taking Mimikyu, which I tell you what, would be really, really nice to see. You, you have to take Mimikyu first one. It is probably going to be one of the highest like win rate Pokemon if it goes into hands. But they take the Inteleon instead, which is not a bad first pick to take. I think it's getting to the point now, right, where Pokemon Unite have got that many kind of on the verge of being broken Pokemon. Oh and it gets to the point now where you can just pick quite a few broken Pokemon now. It's not just one. But cover on that Mimikyu. Mimikyu making their first appearance in the PUCL. This is their first time here. And whew, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, Mimikyu is going to make its debut tonight because it wasn't picked at all in the previous games when it was allowed to. But to counter this Mimikyu, they've gone with the big gooey gudra and maybe a mean look umbreon you know what that is a really smart pit there by sue legends because that uh umbreon is going to be able to store that um mimic however from what i've told the mean look doesn't stop them doing the shadow sneak no it doesn't so, it's unaffective so they can shadow sneak out of that ability pretty, pretty much yeah so that's gonna be interesting to see if well one if they know that and two if they are able to utilize that move to advantage, wait for the Shadow Sneak, and then hit yeah. them hard. But the Gudra is a good pick. I think the Gudra going to do really well. Yeah, and that being said, we have got Docs taking the Clefable and Rosen with the Bro. Good, solid picks. Healing their whole team around the Clefable and Slowbro doing some good tanking. Redo Man taking the Outrage Dragonite, probably. And Anthony, if he's distrusted, like if he's trusted, the Sidhu Wooey. Yeah, to see do I make it. I tell you what, this is the second time we've seen the um, Dragonite. I like Dragonite. It's nice to see it. Yeah. <laughs> and now here comes Mr. KFC Sunday Roast Chicken Nuggy Blaziken for the last pick of Misfits. Is so it... Remus. Oh, that's interesting. Sorry, I just realized something. Sue Legends have got no healers unless they're going Wish. Yeah, they're going to go Wish. You're going to have to go Wish with a team like this. And I would say the team may be... It's looking like Misfits have got the stronger team, in my opinion. With the Mew and the, and mm -hmm. the Mimikyu, yeah. And the Cafable, yeah. Slowbro, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chicken, yeah. Chicken's one of those ones which is, is a nice balanced mon, but I think it could be easily taken out by the Italian. Uh Now, it'll be interesting how the Dragonite gets on, because Dragonite is a... It'd be interesting to go... What do you reckon? Is that a Enrage build with the attack weight and the Rage Claw? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I would like to point out that I don't think Umbreon is going to go with it because it's got an attack weight on there, so it might go foul play snow. But that being said, Here we've we got go. Satsi on the Dragonite, Vici on the Italian, Gudra possible, Umbreon, Radoman, Anthony Decidua. you got Core on the Mimikyu, Dare on the Mew, Dox on the Cafable, Rosum on the Slowbro, and Ayla 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 on the Blaziken. Yeah. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Me and words. <laughs> <laughs> Me and words. <laughs> And here we go for the first time tonight for these two teams. We are with Pseudo Legends, and after they leave their home base, we follow them down to the bottom lane. We are Umbion and the Italian. Italian taking the lane, which is quite interesting, as the Decidui does take the jungle up on the top lane. We have got the Gudra with the Dragonite. Up top, there we've got Chicken Nuggy and Clefable up top. In the jungle, we've got the Mimikyu, and down bot, it's the Mew and the Oh, Jungle Vade, Jungle Vade, Jungle Vade, but Mew seen it, yeah. Dara's seen it. Dara has seen it, but Dara is in danger now, he's on half health. Um, Mimikyu coming in as well. Oh, no, that oh. was... Yeah, oh. you could get away with this kind of thing here, Remus, but if there's a Poundland Pikachu in the jaw jungle, there's nothing you can do about it because Mimikyu is just going to sweep you up. Well, we'll say, though, valiant effort. <laughs> valiant effort and that Mew almost almost did get taken out and you know it was yeah. worth a try you're gonna you, you know if they can still farm where they can they need to do it and you know fair play for giving it a go but unfortunately they were ready for you they saw you yeah yeah I would like to point out as well Redo Man managed to change it out in time to get that EXP share on so I do believe it's going to be mean look wish I think a majority of them actually went to the bottom lane, went to actually Pseudo Legends. Oh, uh, Mimikyu up top, taking out both people. And this is where we're going to see now Mimikyu is going to be, 
one of these ones we're gonna have to watch out for so i'll try my best to keep with them so you can see it the yeah. Miku being the new pokemon that got released about three weeks ago three four weeks ago and uh it's actually it's their first appearance in the pucl and, and it's the play rough so that yeah. invincibility is gonna be oh rosamond danger here here. so i box i had to quickly go there uh yeah. bro and the mew on a big push here on pseudo legends t1 goal but they were very close to going out and now they're focusing focusing rosam oh mew gets trapped with the mean look yeah nicely played it bot lane looking quite uh even and it'd be interesting to see how things go up in the top lane oh, birds oh, oh. that so, was a yeah, I was going to say that in the middle there, Mew took them all for themselves with that massive solar beam right there. Yeah, and I'm um, looking up here, uh, Cora not leaving our top lane. Oh, uh, uh, snap shot coming in, but Anthony was a little bit too late. As Oh, Simon hits him though. It was a little bit too late because he did shoot as they were dunking goals. Uh, that top lane is taking a battering, and Gudra, unfortunately, mm -hmm. is not going to be able to do anything until they become a fully fledged Gudra. Gudra. Once they hit the Gudra mode, I think they'll stand a bad chance against that Mimikyu. Yes, I have to agree with you there, Remus. It is once they got that undistractability of the Gudra, of the Dragon Pulse, the Power Whip, it's going to work wonders for them. But they have to get the levels up first. Dog's caught out here by the Gudra. Oh. Gudra on them, but doesn't manage to yeah. Yeah, it gets away. Gravity. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a Mimikyu waiting for him. Possible. Oh, he misses. He misses his Shadow Sneak. That was, that was probably a lifesaver there for Possible. Oh, yeah. I mean, what an impressive beam coming in, but snap shot coming in, just misses the Mew. That was so close there by Anthony. Anthony almost getting in, he needs to quickly get out there. Uh, luckily, the, the uh, Umbion does body block a lot of their attacks, which is good. Uh, wow, what an impressive uh, <laughs> bot lane battle we've got here. Reggie Rock coming up, and it does go to Misfits. Yeah. It's just going to be one of those that it's going to be, can we get rid of this Umbion mean look? We get rid of that. Their whole team is ours. Oh, Blaziken. Blaziken goes down. Me, me, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho. what a shot into the face there by the Mew. And there oh. you go. Yeah, Shadow Sneak straight on it. Here Shadow Sneak. There's two. Shadow Sneak miss. But here comes the play rough. The indestructibility taking nearly down the Intellion. And there we go. Yeah. Gets his free kill. Can he get his four kill on top? Yeah, he, do, he jumps on top of him. Can he do it? No, but look yeah. at how much that play rough does to Redman a defender, fifty percent health. Uh, to a quick up on the top lane here, we have got possible taking on the Blazerkin, Gudra versus Blazerkin up on the top here, and it's looking like he's actually going to go to the Gudra, and it does. Nice play there by Possible taking out the Blazerkin, but and actually he's got the full support of his team. So Legends full support, Doc having to retreat, and it's just, I was going to say this is what pseudo Legends need to do: just push as a unit and take them out once they appear one by one. That's it, they take that top objective, which is nice done. They take that bottom uh, T, sorry, top T1 goal as well. This oh. is really, really nice play here by Sue Legends, but... M Mimikyu's in trouble. Mimikyu gets away by the skin of T, thanks to Slowbro. Slowbro ults on the Umbion, but he goes down. Mew comes in, disappears with a, uh, was that an agility? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Very nicely done here by Sue Legends. Uh, but they do need to make sure they don't overextend here and probably leave that Regilecki and go farm up. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. It is it's a wise decision. Get the farm. Try and out-level diff them. Because if you look at the levels, it's still 50-50. But you want to get that advantage and the positioning for the next Ray, uh, the next Reggie fight. 100%. I tell you what, this is some nice play here by Sue Legends. Very nice to see them being quite competitive against a team like Misfits. Mean look on the slow, bro. Uh... Giving some time there for the um, oh, a nice uh, oh, there coming in from Doc. There's a fly, and it does go to Blazekin that bottom ready steal. And now they're on the offense as they try and run away. Um, the Italian trying to run away here as he is being chased by three of them Mimikyu, Mew, and the Slowbro. He's trying his hardest, and he doesn't, he doesn't, no, oh, and he gets taken wow. down. A Lecho ball diff right there, but as you see again, Mimikyu, three more kills. It is. Just unbelievable this mom. Yeah, but it, it's, it's going to get into trouble if it doesn't. See that that was, a, that was a nice use of the silent shadow sneak, using it as almost like an eject button, use it on yeah. the farm to disappear. Really, really nice player. Oh, he's actually he's he on. takes out the Umbreon. 
The Dox is doing its best just to heal it. He goes down, he goes down, he goes down. The Sidwag does do his, um, on a knock-knock door, as you call it, and takes him down. But Beam coming in, and down goes Gudra, unlucky there. But Teleon comes in, trying to take down that Cafable. Cafable, gravity, now jumping on it. Down goes the Umbion. Uh, Teleon, yeah, uh, nice. Oh, nice shot there. Kill. But the Mew escapes with his ult, not allowing the Dragon Knight to finish it off. And it looks like... So your legends might get the next Reggie Lecky. That's, that's quite good though. If they can get this, this is quite a good one. Yeah. Hyper could... Beam. Is that Hyper Beam Dragon Knight? I just saw that. No. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, he's gone Hyper Beam Dragon Dance. I wasn't paying attention to fair on that one, but that's uh, interesting. Normally you see the Enrage coming. I mean, Hyper Beam is good yeah. for secure. Oh, wow, wow. That's a nice hit there. Yeah. So this is important now. So we're like 2 minutes 30. You've got 30 seconds. Pressure is on Misfits now to stop that from going in. <laughs> Won't be too difficult, but it does mean that, that it has allowed um, Sioux Legends to get a bit of farm and get mm -hmm. themselves ready for this next fight. Uh, they have got yeah. plenty of time now for this Reggie Rock to come in. Yeah. Chicken Nuggy and Slowbro defending it, zoning out the other team because they want it all for themselves. But can they do a steal Sioux Legends within the last 10 seconds? I think Satsi was hoping to get a hyper... Hype him on there, but it's not going to happen. They get the Veggie no. Rock, and with three seconds to go, they've got that extra bit of health as well. Radaman jumps straight in on the Snorlax. Beam comes straight in on him. Umbion in serious danger. He's having to pull back here. Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not the Decidueye, because he's down to Chicken Little. The Fable takes out the Dragon Knight. Fable, he's gone down, though. The Teleon do some real nice work here. Uh, yeah. Umbion, sorry, Slowbro. Uh, oh, on to the uh, Gouda. Gouda getting taken down by, I think it was a Mew, was it, that time? Yeah. No, it was a slow bro. Yeah. But can Satsi steal it? He's still got his ult. He can't over here take too long. Or could he? He's gone for it. Oh! And unfortunately, the Mew takes that it. Was, that was close, though. Yeah, that, that was, was close. very close. I could see what he was trying to do there with the jump in Hyper Beam, get the crit off, and that's what that's game one probably to the team of Misfits. It is, and I tell you what though, it was close. It wasn't. It, the two legends did well. That wasn't a white walk. It was uh, a bit of a difficult fight there for Misfits. Misfits losing that the top objective a few times. And in fact, a 50 is going to go coming over top here. Yeah. It does. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Just in time, Doc saves the day. And Chicken Nuggy super kicks the Inteleon for good measure to get that double kill. Wow, what a game. Again, what another amazing Ray fight match. Uh, yeah. Just like the um, Squish Squad vs. Tight Wooper, game very, very close right up to the Ray and very, very well played. Mm -hmm. It was a very well played game and I think Misfits want more. They want more Hundo Burgers. I tell you what, this, these are the games I like to watch, right? Games where you get eight minutes where it's close and it's not all one-sided. You know, you know when you get yeah. some games and the game is pretty much over by five minutes, you know yeah. you're going to win it. When mm -hmm. you got matches like these where it takes you right up to the eight-minute mark and you're like, this could literally go either way. Even if the raid doesn't get flipped, it can still go either way. The, the, the scores are that close. But I yeah. tell you what, wow, what a game. Sue Legends putting in an amazing, amazing effort there. Did really well. But Misfits, wow, that Mimikyu. <laughs> yeah. Let's look at Battle Data. Starting off the home team of Pseudo Legends, we've got Anthony knocking on your door with a nice 53k damage right there. Redderman tanking a bit there with the 79. To be fair, they did really well with the um, Italian. Two legends did, so it's no surprise that they picked that. Mm -hmm. so I won. That being said, Dira is taking the Mew again. It's a very solid pick right there that she played with, and we're going to see the Bro and the Venu taken for the side of Suda Legends. A very smart pick. Bro being that squishy, sponge-like defender right there that can absorb the hits, whereas Vic can 
snipe with the beams with those hits as well. Yeah, and, that and being said, I think it's always a good yeah. it's always good to have a Mew or a Vino on your team. It seems to be mm -hmm. the common meta, especially in the PCL anyway. Yeah. And it's one of those that it's going to be a very nice to snipe and get Rayquaza or even a Reggie or so. Yeah. And over on Misfits, they have taken the Blastoise and the Blissey. Blissey actually hasn't been used yet tonight, so it's nice to see Blissey back. And um, we know Blissey can be a bit of a powerhouse. Those heals, Radaman, and they do take the Umbreon yet again. But a Lucario, interesting. Yeah, Lucario, going to be interesting. I don't think I've really seen Lucario used in this league that much, but Radaman picking the Umbreon again to be more of the mean look that they can do and the wishing that they can try to do it. But Cora on the big buzz wall now and the Lyra on the big KFC chicken nuggy that they did so well with. Yeah, they did absolutely amazing well with the KFC chicken nuggy to be fair. Be interested to see what final mon they do take here on Pseudo Legends. And it looks like a Glaceon. Now that's mm -hmm. good. Glaceon is actually not in a bad position right now. I think he got some buffs last patch, I believe. And it actually is all right. It's not. It's quite good. And actually could do really well, especially against the Buzzwall. Yeah. It is going to... I think they picked that just to counter the Buzzwall right there for... I mean, both. I mean to be fair, the Umbreon's good at... It's, it's going to have his hands full. I think the, um, the yeah. Bro and the Umbreon are going to be fine. And I think they're going to be able to halt any back lane assaults, potentially. Um yeah, I think with the Mimikyu being banned, I think the teams are more balanced, definitely. Yeah. It's going to be a 50-50 now that Mimikyu is gone. It is going to be more of what we could see from game one. Yep, well, here we go for round two of tonight. We have got Misfits, Dara on the Mew, Rosam on Blastoise, Dox on Blissey, Korra on Buzzwall, and Ayala on Blazekin, or Ayala, however you pronounce your name, on Blazekin. Satsi with the bro, Vic on the Venu, Lucario, which is possible, Radoman, the Ambion, and Anthony with the Glaceon. Let's do this. Here we go. Round two, and we are going to start off with Misfits in their home base. And as they leave it, let's see where they all go. Going bot lane is the Mew and the Blastoise. In the middle, we have got Chicken Little. And up top, we have got the Buzzwall and the Blissey. Up top here, we've got Umbreon and then Luca up there. In the jungle, we've got Glaceon. And down bottom, we've got the Venu and the Bro. Yeah, um, Lucario goes straight in there. Duncan is four in, getting his first lot of stacks in. Nice done. Is he going to be able to get another one? That's the question. He... Yeah. Did he get it? No, um, no Blissey no. sold it. Yeah, Blissey. Blissey that was it. a little bit, a little bit, not very old. Kiki stopped the buzzword. He... He does. He starts Budwell from getting that. Cora doesn't manage to get their second lot of stacks in, which is vital. Because if they didn't get the stacks in, they don't want Cora getting them either. But Cora no, does get not. those five points, though, so they should be careful. Because we know what a Budwell could be like, especially if they're stacking. Yep. We've seen it many of times in this league. Budwell stack equals oh. destruction. Sorry, just a bit of a uh, change here. Both junglers going down bottom this time. So it's a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, I think that's just to counteract that they saw Anthony down bottom and that they needed that 3v3 support. Yeah. Uh, I think the points meant to Misfits on that one. I think Chicken Little there coming in, bringing the farm back yep. to them. Um, being quite aggressive, actually, he is. Who's playing it? It is Ayla. Ayla. Yeah, Ayla. 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 Going back to the jungle there with Anthony going back to his. In 20 seconds, we're going to see the swab lose come into the middle but up top it's just still been that stacking battle who can get their stacks in and buzzwall um, has got the levels which is going to be really hard for lucario here because he's not going to be able to get past the buzzwall with those move sets because he's going to grab hold yeah. of him and keep him at like almost like stunned almost yeah but and now here we go here we go for the middle uh, it does look like actually um, beams come in nicely. Lovely. Nicely done there. Uh, Venusaur does get quite a few of them, but the Mew mopping up the rest of them. And it, War Turtle does get taken down. Water, beam comes in, absolutely illuminating that. Mew taking down the Vino. 
and taking down the Lucario with that beam attack. Really nicely played there. Two legends. Glaceon now in danger here. Fires off their um, icicle spears and oh damn it, literally on minimal health and they do back to get health. Whew. What a battle for the bee for the birds. <laughs> yeah, you're it, telling me. If that has got the taste going for chat, I don't know what will. Uh, Cora here, level 7, Buzzwell jumps in, power bombs him straight on top of the uh, Umbion. Umbion take a little bit of damage there from a deadly Cario. And now mm. the Glacian does come up top to give them a bit of a hand. Lucario with a fully stacked um, oh. Icicle Spear, but only does one quarter, one third damage on it. So, yeah, that Buzzwell is going to be vital for frontline attacks in this game. Yeah. Lovely telekinesis there to pull the new into position, out position, and bring it closer to it right a bit earlier on. But Mew ulting. Mew, as soon as I just seem to have this here, need to deal with that Blaze King. Blaze King will steal it if they don't worry. Yeah, nice, nice move there from the Glaceon. Glaceon with the Icicle Spears coming. Yeah, that is really nice play there by yeah, um, Sue Legends. Yes, yeah, lovely play there by Pseudo Legends. And now, can Korra get there in time to break it? Yep, managed to hold it off, but oh, can they wow. break it? Wow, what an ult there coming from the um, Buzzwell. Buzzwell, oh, man, big danger. What a save. What a save there by Dera. Beaming Anthony, who's about to dunk, and then Anthony runs away, but Buzzwell picks up one of his teammates and smacks Anthony down for the KO. Yeah, this is really interesting here. It seems like a oh, nice ult coming in there, stopping the dunks from coming in. Beam crew taking out the Buzzwell. What a what a play there by Vic. Nice play. Ult coming in. Beam coming in. Buzzwell had didn't stand a chance. And he's out for another five seconds. Yep, what a play in DDO's. Just a bliss assist on Chicken Little. Can Chicken Little do anything? Takes down the slow bro, but takes it down. And a Venu. Yeah, it was a trade. But unfortunately goes down. Yeah. Two for the a... price of one hill. Yeah, a bit of a trade. Buzzwell going up top now to uh stop this um Looks like an Umbion just and the Lucario again. Well, Lucario is especially getting his stacks in. But Buzzwell is a level 10 here, so he does need to be careful here. Yeah. In comes in the punch there, and Lucario is engaged on him. But Buzzwell gets him, he grabs him, and I think he might go down here. No, he doesn't. He gets Sludge Bomb, and he gets beamed. Lucario is still in danger. Go. Buzzwell goes down, though, and what a support there from Pseudo Legends. That Sludge Bomb coming in with a beam definitely helped there. Ult coming in on the Chicken Little. Chicken Little goes down. It's just a Blissey left up on their docks on their own. But Mew is coming in fast to help here. Ult in right next to the uh, Vino. Nice surf taking down the Venusaur in the back lane here. Uh, but Lucario <laughs> straight on top of him. But as we see up top, it's they're zoning out as a team, allowing Anthony to get this Reggie Lecky all by himself. I tell you what, this is some good playing here by Sue Legends. Almost a different team. Yeah, as we said, it... It, this is what I expected from Pseudo Legends in game one, but unfortunately, Mimikyu just absolutely destroyed them. They did, and it is one of those that's just amazing to see how close it is. Oh, yeah, it's always amazing to see it. Uh, possible going in there, does miss his attack. Glaceon focusing hard on that Chicklow. I tell you, Glaceon doing really well. Anthony doing really well. Oh, comes in. Beautiful, all that. Blastoise ults as well. Blastoise out of range here. He does, oh, misses the um, solar beam, but he is in danger here. Venusaur on him. Can he escape? No, he does not. And this looks like another objective for Pseudo Legends. What is going on? Yeah. Pseudo Legends taking it really in game two. Just absolutely dominating both Reggies and the Lecky up top. Just having it all for themselves. And Buzzwell's going to have to come down to help 5v5. Lovely slow beam onto oh, the Mew. Mew gets taken out of Icicle Spear. I tell you what, oh, here comes, here comes Korra. Korra takes down Glaceon. Now, that's what they need to continue doing nice all on the Vino. So what's been going on here? Glaceon's been hard focusing the uh, Blaziken. So Blaziken's been zoned out, not been able to do anything. But now the Buzzwall's here, able to jump in, grab the Glaceon, throw them around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a chance. Yeah, goodbye, Felicia. You are gone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I like that. Here we go. Possible just farming up, trying to get his level 12. But he doesn't see Big Buzzwall coming in, nudging him, throwing around he's all the He's on his own, and he's on his own. Yep. His team needs to come up and support him. 
Otherwise, he is going to be one skinned Lucario. <laughs> Uh, looks like the teams are coming here now, but it, it is a 3v1 here. The full team is here. Glaceon coming in. Glaceon might be a little bit too late here. Solar Beam coming in from the Mew. The Cario is on low health here. Beam coming in from Ooh. the Venusaur. Glaceon takes down the, the uh, Blaziken yet again, focusing hard on him. And in comes Isol Spear on the Buzzle. Buzzle on low health. Can he be taken down? Gets taken down by the Beam. And again, this is such another amazing team fight here by Super Legends. But this is the thing, Remus. Zatzin used his Beam. Slow beam at 2.30, it's not going to be there at Rayquaza. Yeah, that is very true. And um, he's zoned out. Oh, he's in he might no, yeah, he gets escaped. So yeah, looking at this now, but Buzzwall doesn't have their ult either. Yeah. Buzzwall. Right, here they go. Super Legends pushing. Yeah, they need to push hard. They need to win this game uh, for them to be of any contention for winning the round completely. Um, yeah. It's close. I'm going to give it yeah, that it's I'm close. Real. Umbreon's just barged through trying to dunk that Undo Burger in. He, he, he gets it in! He gets it in! Yeah, yeah that means Suda Legends is now in the lead. Suda Legends just need to hold off now for 1 minute 30 seconds and they can win this round too. Can they pull off and uh, a feet in? Actually get a... Oh, that Buzzwall's down! Buzzwall's down! Oh, Buzzwall down! Blissey down! down. Blissey on down! I, 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 I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Luca takes out the Blastoise, which oh, leaves Chicken please, Little down. Please, Mew they, is down. They rip Mew it is now. the only one. They can rip they, it. They can rip, they can rip oh. it like a plate plate. Mew is there, but Slowbro is on the dare of the Mew. No. Just... no, they're not. They're holding off. This is actually no, no. fair. That was good tactics. Good tactics. They're held off knowing that they're going to come back. 55 seconds. That's all they've got to hold on for. 55 yeah. seconds. Defend those points. And they say, YOLO, we're going to rip it. The misfits are going for the rip, it seems. No, they pulled off from the rip, they pulled off from the rip. Oh, it oh, goes Buzzwell, down. Go. Buzzwall goes down yet again. They've had such an amazing game. He goes down. Oh, no, Blastoise goes down. <laughs> He's been all oh, telekinesis onto the blade. Uh, blade skin. He's going for the Hundo Burger. He gets stopped. Lucario quickly stops him. Whoa, Lucario. Lucario, you, you've got. Oh, this is this is so intense. Who's going to win? In well. Glacion no. steals it. This is Sudo Legends still. It can... Pseudo Legends. Pseudo Legends have pulled off an impossible feat here and they have took. They took a win. Yeah, they took a win from Misfits. What a second game. Well deserved win for Pseudo Legends. Massive. Massive. If I. I tell you what, I'd love to be in Sudo Legends VC right now. Because they will be jumping around. Wow, what a game! What a game! Yes, what a game indeed. Wow. Sorry, I'm just going to take a moment there just to like absorb what has just happened there. <laughs> because, um, oh. yeah. <laughs> what a big upset that has to be, Remus. But the tail of the tape. Lyra being kept very quiet, as you said, by Anthony zoning in, only able to do 41k damage, tanking 64. Laura doing a very impressive... Yeah, it's the mean look. You, at the raid fight, Radoman managed to just mean look everyone out of nowhere, and it, <laughs> they couldn't get any movement on them. Yeah, that's true. So let's see what happens here, because like the pool's now limited. Let's see where they go. You know what? I, I'm really, I'm really excited. I don't, I'm just like buzzing for this round, this game. Now it's like we've had such yeah. an amazing first two rounds. What can happen? Satsi. Oh, I thought it was gonna be slow, bro, but they go pull in the Vino. A very, very smart yep. pick because without the Italian and without the Mew, it really only leaves that and the Decidueye. Yeah. And that being said, Rosam. Gonna go for his trusted bro, maybe. Yeah. And the Kung Fu Panda comes out to play. That's gonna be hard to go against because without the mean look, they're gonna need something to zone that uh, Urshifu. And especially yeah. with the slow bro being taken as well. Mm, it's gonna be difficult here. Yeah. What will Vic go for as Satsi's taking it? He's gone for. We've got a Lapras and a Snorlax. Snorlax? Interesting. I don't think I've seen a Snorlax. Um, be played yet, actually. Yeah, this week it hasn't... Oh, yesterday we did see it. Chaos was invading 
with Snorlax yesterday. Really? Yep. Okay. And that being said, Aura is there with the Glaceon and Doc's taking its trusted Blissey. Oh, and look at this here. The, the, the Glaceon being taken. That's going to be interesting because the Glaceon played a vital role in the yeah. round. And it's going to be interesting to see how we get on with this one now. We got a guard and a Luca. Yeah, oh, yes. Go? That's interesting. Guard, yeah, that the guard is going to be a nice addition there. I've, uh, I'm, see what Anthony can do with it, actually, to be fair. I don't know if I've seen Anthony play a guard yet. And there we go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So they've yeah. got two lot, two lots of boys ripping now. So yeah, yeah. yeah they're they're cool. coming all, all firing cylinders with the Kung Fu Panda, the frozen Elsa Glaceon, and the Zoroark. Yeah, is going to be a very very destructive team that misfits have put together i do think it's going to be a misfits i think misfits have got the better draft here yeah i have to agree with you there robo oh remus robo, robo. Oh, yeah, dare you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean but, i mean he's a good looking chap but you know um... <laughs> yeah uh but with that being said it is going to be one of those that can sue the legends keep up this momentum that they showed in game two because they absolutely destroyed Misfits in Game 2, they did. Yeah, they, they did really well. But uh, this comp, though, I'm looking at it now. And here we go. So you've got Satsy on the Snorlax, Vic on the Venusaur, Radaman on the Lapras, Possible on the Lucario, and Amphi on the Guardi. you got Rosam on the Bro, Alaiwa on the Zoroark, Dox on the Blissey, Korra on the Kung Fu Panda, and Dira on the Glaceon. Yeah, and just look at this now. Like, if you look at what they've got, they've got Glaceon, they've got Zorark, they've got the Urshifu, they've got Slowbro. It's going to be hard for Super Legends to to keep up any momentum, I think, here. But anyway, yeah. forget that. Final time tonight, we are going to watch Super Legends leave their home base and down to the bot lane. We have got the Snorlax with the Venusaur. Venusaur not taking jungle this time, but we have got the Guardi in the jungle, Anthony up there, and up on the top lane, the Cardio and the Atlas. Lyra on the Zorak, all by themselves, sprinting for their tier one goal. Blissey and the Kung Fu Panda in the middle, Urshifu, trying to get his levels up as quick as possible. And down bot, we got the Bro and the Glaceon. Yeah, I, I think you're going to see the Zorak and the Urshifu really pushing to get those early levels in, trying to get those um, power spikes quick because they're going to need them. And uh, here we go for the first big combat up top here. Uh, Dox gets frozen. I thought you had Dunk 7 in there. That's right, not Dunk 7. Yeah. thought that was going to dunk in there, but Dox doesn't let them do that. Um, yeah, I think we're going to see, going to see the Zorok and the Urshifu maybe working in tandem together. Um, and it's going to come in. Now he comes on top of Possible. Possible just escaped. Urshifu had them in their sights, but he do, they do yeah. get away. Yeah, I can see this uh, Zorok and the Urshifu working together because get them both on and it's going to be absolutely discussing the damage output oh and here we see it both evolved into their prime states yeah. now here we're we gonna go. see Urshifu and Zorok cause absolute chaos up top but yeah there we go here it comes here it comes yeah i tell you what though Lucario really getting close on top of that um Urshifu. so it'll be interesting to see with the team fights if Lucario is able to pick them off one by one yeah and that being said it's he goes back to the jungle. I thought maybe there was going to be like a switch switcheroo with Zorak going in as the jungler now that Urshifu's got his evolved state. I mean, that could, be, no. that could be a really good play, you know, having that, like, you take the first jungle, come in, and, oh, ah, oh, Glazon just manages to escape away from, yeah. you know. But, yeah, that could have been a good show, actually, yeah. Something to maybe look at. Uh, middle, just blissy on their own, hitting the middle birds. No one else really contesting. Uh, down the bottom here, Devil's on. Oh no, God, he takes him out. Oh, down goes Glaceon and Slowbro is trying to run away, but there's Yoshu. Yoshu kind of like dodging around. Kara, I think, struggling, really won't know where to go at the minute. Yeah. Up on the top lane. Um, <laughs> Zorvalk just running away. Lapras defend that yeah. goal. And I tell you what, it's a little bit of a, a bit more of a stalemate this time. It is a lot more in Misfit's favour. Definitely. Yeah, it's it's now a 
the misfits have come out all swinging. They really need this point. And if you see just behind us there, they still got the bunnies. The, the, the second lot of bunnies still there waiting. Yeah. And down the bottom lane here is where the action is continuing to kick off. It's a 3v1, 3v2 now. Beam comes in, does take on the uh, slow bro, but they do retreat. No problem. Nicario, they're coming in the bush, comes out. No, he just uses that to kind of get out of there, get that farm. Yeah, he's just. Um, I thought Possible was going to come in there for a flank tank. Flank tank? Flank nah. attack, but no. Oh, nice heavy slam jumped in there. Now, you're a bit of a slow bro player here. Now, would you have gone heavy slam or would you have gone for flail? Uh, you mean. Snorlax. That's what they're uh, like. Snorlax, sorry. Uh, yeah. I, for this comp, I would have gone Snorlax. Heavy Slam is always the raid to go, to be perfectly honest with you. Flail. Even though it's fun to play, it's not a five comp one. And a lovely ult there by Anthony, but it, unfortunately he, had, he died and he couldn't. Nobody could be there to finish it so off. So I rock out position, but they can do some damage here, but I don't know if it's going to work. He does manage to get away. Only just though. Mm -hmm. But line. now we see, you see his score line now, 215 to 18 yeah. now. This it is what I'm is a, Yeah, this is a very dominant misfits. They're not here to play games. They're here to get that crucial point. They can't yeah. afford to drop points. No, definitely not. They cannot at all because the Sioux Legends have been getting those points and I think they might be hot on their tails. So they need to really do, really, really win this. Because um, I think they actually, I think it was Misfits that actually forfeited their first game against each other, wasn't it? Yeah, because of late scheduling, yes, to, I believe it was. Due to not being able to field enough players, I think it was. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so they really do need to win this to kind of show Sioux Legends what they are made of. And I tell you what, they're doing a great job of that right now. And unlike game two and th uh, game one and two, they are firmly dominating this game so far. Yeah. This is the misfits that we have seen throughout the weeks playing these kind of comps, dominating teams like that they have done. Especially, they even beat Squishy Squad. They in did. Misfits. Their, in, their, in the first round, Misfits did. Did, yeah. And Cora, oh, I thought you were going to, yeah, but just get oh. taken up by the Guardian. Guardian get altered and they go down. Yeah, the, like I said in the draft pit, just the damage output that Misfits have got with the urge through and the Zorok. Then you got the bro. It's just, it's, I think it's just going to be a little bit too much for Sioux Legends to deal with right now. Yeah. It, 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 as you said, that there's no supporter to heal them from the attacks of the Glaceon, the Urshifu, the Zorok. They needed somebody there to like sustain them. It's always good to have tanks, but you need somebody there to heal you. Like no Hoopers, no Corfables that they could have, picked they just decided to go with a snorlax lapras tanky combo i get why i get why because tank yeah. it's worked for them it has worked for them. yeah but i think get rid of this the lax replace yeah. that with a supporter be mm -hmm. it be it a ld or a yeah. fable i think yeah. either one of them would have been perfect yeah they need somebody to like a gravity fable against the yeah. Urshifu to Zora. I tell you what, Gravity yeah. Fable would work perfect and I can fist team come because yeah. it would stop those dashing attacks coming in. But here we go, Lapras taking out there, doing a Lapras Express onto the Urshifu, but to no prevail and Urshifu is running wild, taking down the Lucario. Snorlax out, oh, Zora they... gets a double kill. Yeah. See, unfortunately that's what you got to deal with here, right? So it, you got the Urshifu and they're going to be dealing with the Urshifu. Yeah, that's fine. They can probably take out one high damage fast speedy boy but when you've got a red hair speedy boy who's coming in the back lane and yeah. oh nice beam though coming in though from Vic yeah. taking on the glaceon yeah i just i just can't see how they're gonna to, to deal with it because they haven't got enough to kind of stop that onslaught no there's nothing really for them to stop the onslaught but there's hey just... we don't it's not the yeah it's 295 to 18 but I'll tell you what yeah. it, it can still be flipped yeah, all it needs is for Misfits to be out of position and for Suda Legends to capitalize on it and for them to go in and just flip this ray. Yeah, and with 25 or 20 seconds to go now, we're going to find out exactly 
who's going to get this ray flip if at all any of them go forward with it it does like the reggie lecky's being ripped here and two legends really need to be careful here because uh, that's going to go yeah, it's to gone. now that's a bit yeah. unfortunate i mean i get they don't want to team fight it but uh, it's a bit of a bit of a yeah. bummer when they've got loads of 50 stacks <laughs> oh and here comes the fight that was an Dutch. early team fight <laughs> Zoro taking up the God of War. That is huge. Couldn't even unite. Nice block there by Radaman doing a body block on the Glacier. Ice Cold Spears. But he takes it again uh, and he's going to. Oh, he manages to eject point out of there. And uh, the Zoro gets taken out. Oh, sorry, my apologies. Uh, yeah. That is big. There's got enough time now for the God of War yeah. to return. 11 seconds yeah. until the Vino comes back. Oh, it's going to be close. But that, that. Yeah, this is another thing. They picked out their big targets and they both weren't able to ult. No. They still got the Venu ult, and they still got the guard ult. And they've got the Karya ult coming in. Glacian's got the ult as well. Ults are flying. Oh. God, he did get the big. ult off, but they've yeah. got the slow road. <laughs> big bomb oh. That was huge beam coming in there, but unfortunately it didn't pay off. There wasn't enough damage to come in, and yeah. I think this is going to be a Misfits rip and win. Yeah, and Lyra yeah. dead. Trying to zone there, making sure it's all there. Nobody's coming, but here comes Redderman. Oh, a little bit battle. too late. I little tell you what, too late. a little bit too late, but you know what? Valiant, valiant effort there. Right at the end, Sue Legends actually put on a really brave fight, actually. Very, very brave yeah. fight. And you know what? Fantastic game. Fantastic game. <laughs> they go, they do walk away with a point, though. Yeah, that's the main thing. They still got that point. Which means, that actually, is crucial for them. It is crucial because it means they go further away from Golden Rod Press. That's what I mean. It's between Golden Rod Press did come up with a point yesterday in a 2-1 loss to Shuffle Shuffle, but it is one of those that is a battle that can they not take that last spot down there, but here we go. Well, I will say a massive, massive congratulations to Misfits, keeping their cool, not allowing the loss of Game 2 to uh, affect their performance. If anything, it enhanced their performance. Uh, because that was mm -hmm. a, a bit more of a dominating game and a game which I would have thought would have been a more precedence in game two and one. But you know what? I'm going to take my half. I'm gonna, I, I sat a lot. I'm going to take my half to Sir Legends. Well played for yep. winning round two. Yeah, they absolutely dominated round two, but Misfits come back better and stronger, dominating round three. And here we go, tail to tape. Vic doing the best that he could with 91k damage on the Beamasaur. Anthony getting targeted, zoned out. As